Catherine of Aragon was born at the Archbishop's Palace, Alcalá de Henares, in Madrid, Spain, on December 16, 1485. Catherine was the daughter of King Ferdinand II of Aragon, and Isabella I of Castile. Of seven children, five survived, and Catherine was the youngest. On her mother's side of the family, she was descended from the English royal house. She was named Catherine, after her great-grandmother, who was Catherine of Lancaster, and Philippa of Lancaster, was her great-great-grandmother, which in turn would see her related to King Henry VII, and also Elizabeth of York, as a cousin, third and fourth removed. As befitted her station as a royal princess, Catherine was educated by a tutor, who is also a clerk in holy orders, Alessandro Geraldini. Her studies would include lessons in religion, the classics, Latin history, canon and civil law, heraldry, and genealogy. She came from a very strong upbringing in religion and faith, as a Catholic. She would also learn to speak, write and read in Spanish and Latin, and she also spoke Greek and French. Catherine would reign on the throne of England for 24 years. From the age of a small child of three, she was considered to be a suitable wife for the heir apparent to the English throne, Arthur, Prince of Wales, and they were betrothed. At the age of 16, Catherine would meet Arthur for the first time, and some ten days later they were married. As soon as they married, Arthur was summoned to Ludlow Castle, and Catherine accompanied him. Several months into their stay, they were both struck down with a sweating sickness. Catherine recovered. Arthur did not. And barely six months into their marriage, Catherine became a widow. Catherine of Aragon would then go on to marry the next heir apparent, Henry VIII, after being granted a dispensation from the Pope, and that she testified that her first marriage had not been consummated. As Henry was younger than Catherine by five years, it was seven years before Catherine and Henry were finally married. Of their six children, the first a stillborn daughter, the second, a long-wished for heir, Henry. Duke of Cornwall, was born, but at barely two months old, he suddenly died. Their only other surviving child would be Mary. Catherine held on to her crown for as long as she possibly could, being put into many difficult situations, for example, being deprived of seeing her daughter, Mary, the humiliation of Henry trying, and finally succeeding, in having their marriage annulled, and effectively setting Catherine aside, and calling into question Mary's legitimacy her title as queen, would be stripped from her, and in place of that, she was appointed Dowager of Wales, in respect to her first marriage, a title she would forever refuse to accept. Once Catherine was banished from court, she was sent to live at the Moor, in Hertfordshire, a former home of Cardinal Wolsey. From there she would be transferred to Kimbolton Castle in Cambridgeshire. Confining herself to the use of one room only, Catherine would see out her days at Kimbolton Castle. At the age of 50, Catherine of Aragon died, her body was interred in Peterborough Cathedral, with the ceremony fit for a dowager princess of Wales, and not that of a queen. Her tomb in Peterborough Cathedral, hundreds of years later, would have added to it the words, Catherine, Queen of England.